It has been one year since I started developing Carpal Tunnel Syndrome as a troll warrior. Starting from zero knowledge about World of Warcraft, I have now transcended into a being of pure Zugzug -zug that still doesn't know what his abilities really do, but as long as I mash them hard enough and enemy die, me happy. But even though I'm 19 years behind on a story about two sides being cool and they're not cool and then cool again, still confused about how the fuck professions work and how this is apparently some thousand year old dragon dude. Even without the use of guides, I've managed to learn some things, like how to interrupt, use heroic leap, and at one point I even found myself playing an older version of the game that made me constantly want to shit myself. But all that aside, it really has been a journey. So let me tell you about my first year playing World of Warcraft. Now, I'm sure there's many reasons why people start and keep playing well. Whether it's to find a community, mine rocks for hours to sell for 40 gold on the auction house, or it's because you hate yourself and you don't actually enjoy WoW anymore, but you've already invested so much time that you feel like quitting isn't an option at this point. But for me, I started playing simply because of burnout from other games. I needed something new and a genre that I hadn't really tried before. And after I was convinced by my friend, comma, squirting, to try WoW with him, I thought, why not? And now a year later, here I am, doing my weekly mount runs, dying in Mythic Plus, and looking for the next transmog to finish my RGB Razor Black Widow armor set. I'm not a complete WoW addict though, clocking it at about 10 days of playtime since I started a year ago, but I still ask myself, is this a game that I can see myself playing in the future? And the truth is, I don't actually know. So basically, there are two versions of WoW currently, and while they share the same name, they are not the same game. My journey started in the more fast-paced, streamlined version of the game, which is WoW Retail. I'm still not really sure why it's called Retail, but I just go along with it. In my experience, I feel like the focus of Retail is to throw you in, push you through the leveling phase, and then spit you out at the end game content. Since the majority of the player base is already at the end, the leveling zones can feel somewhat isolating. You might see a player every so often, but for the most part, unless you have friends to play with, I'd imagine it'd feel like a single-player game until you can catch up the relevant content. And while I thought my leveling zone had a great storyline and environment, if I was playing alone, I'm not sure if my experience would have been as enjoyable. Luckily for me, I had people to level with, so I actually really enjoy sharing the experience of loading a new dungeon or teaming up to fight and buy instantly to a world boss. There are storylines that accompany each expansion, and when I started, I was pretty much thrown into a storyline where some parts didn't make sense because I didn't know what the hell happened in the previous ones. And maybe story is such an important factor for some players and MMOs, but I find that the story is what makes me want to interact with the world and drive American. But this was back when the game forced you to level through a specific expansion, but now you can choose to level through any expansion you like straight out of the gate. And while that is good from a story point of view because you could start from the beginning, it'd probably end up spreading out the starting player base even thinner than it already is throughout the expansions, potentially leading to even more dead leveling zones. I'm not really sure why you can't just level in the current expansion where everything is happening instead of being cast away to some content from 10 years ago, or you could just fucking buy it, I don't know. But all of this does change once you reach the end game content in the form of the Dragonflight expansion. Mythic Plus Dungeons, Dragon Riding, Raids while instantly need an item before I even know what it is. Mine, mine, mine. This is when I really started to enjoy the game. So much content was opened up and it felt like I had finally finished one long ass tutorial and now I could play the real game. There is a flood of players and the progression is satisfying, always leaving me wanting to improve and get stronger to progress into more difficult content. And then there's the other side of the coin, WoW Classic. I didn't think I was going to play it initially, but after some dude recommended it to me, I, I hope he tries out Classic WoW. I thought, why not? The graphics look like Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. But as someone who has played this game, I can't really judge. The quests don't hold your hand at all, and you actually have to read to know what the hell you have to do. But I actually find this feels more rewarding. At first, I wasn't sure if my first experience in this version of WoW should have been hardcore, but I had no regrets. With the lack of expansions, the player base was much more consolidated into leveling zones, and I found this led to more player interaction. I was always running into people having wholesome interactions. While progression was significantly slower than retail, like I said before, it just felt more rewarding. Upgrading my gear felt more impactful because I wouldn't find an upgrade five minutes later. And since I only had one life, I had to be careful to make sure I was making the right call when running into monsters. I had to ask other players for help so I could clear out a cave, and once or twice I ended up saving people's lives and being saved myself. One of the main differences I noticed was that Classic has a more simplistic talent tree and combat style, and I wasn't constantly at risk of epilepsy from the relentless TikTok dungeon strobe lights every time I entered the fight. But like I said, WoW Classic does not hold your hand, and if you play stupid games, you win accidentally running into a nearby zone and getting one tapped by a Bluetooth bear. I'm still yet to progress super far into the content of WoW Classic. But so far, the leveling experience already feels rewarding in itself. Since you were starting at the very beginning of WoW, you are missing out on any previous details from other storylines, which feels pretty nice not having to watch 108 YouTube videos to find out why Commander Grimax is now the Horde's escort. To put it simply, WoW Classic really feels like a journey more than a race, but also what the fuck. If you wonder which one I prefer, 
It's hard to say. Both games have their pros and cons. Time is money, friend. 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 But I actually think they are too different to really compare anymore. I like the more chilled out grind of classic. But I also enjoy the high octane, fast progression zug zug of retail. So I'm just enjoying swapping between the two, depending on how I'm feeling. I imagine that for a new player, retail might seem more compelling. Better graphics, more content, fast progression. But then the simplicity of WoW Classic might appeal more to someone new to the MMO format. But I still think you'd be missing out if you tried one and not the other. What I really think drove me to continue playing WoW is the community I've been introduced to during my playthrough. I've had a somewhat unique experience because I've managed to meet so many people through my streams and videos. If I want to do a mythic plus or raid i could just ask my guild mates to come with me so i don't get called a smooth braid troglodyte because i didn't bring my study notes to the raid i've heard from some people that they actually stay away from group content for this very reason which actually really sucks like shouldn't you be happy to see newer players in your game but because of this i decided to make a community discord where you can meet new players or maybe veterans we're just here to chill out enjoy the game show you the ropes for me it really has transformed the game from a solitary experience to more of a shared adventure so if this interests you be sure to check it out I didn't really know how long my WoW journey was going to last. Starting as a troll warrior, smashing buttons, and now one year later, still pretty much doing the exact same thing. But at least now, I am zugging away trying to complete my first heroic raid. Still somehow surviving my hardcore character, and still finding enjoyment in becoming a better player while also having fun. I definitely prefer a more casual approach to this game instead of trying to min-max everything, which I think is only made possible because my community and guild can deal with my bullshit and carry me through content. If you're considering playing WoW, I'd say give it a shot with your friends, and if you don't have friends, then I guess just go fuck yourself. I'm to play WoW this year, and with the new expansion coming out soon, it'll be really interesting to experience it at the same time as everyone else. But until then, I'll just continue until I finally have a fucking seizure. Did the math, I'm baby Johnny Cash. My girl gon' throw it back, damn my life is in the mask. Holy hell, this max, I make hits and you make trash. I'm on vacay, do not ask, pulls out eating apple jacks. Shut up, bitch, shut up. Big deal like TJ Maxx. Pop some cash.